name is Amy Elberfeld. I'm Dave Elberfeld. And we provided the resources to build the Elberfeld Center for Accessibility Resources. We've had quite a history of donating for projects on this campus and one reason we do that is because UC Claremont is actually in our backyard and we love this campus so much because of its size and the students going here will most likely stay in our community and work in our community. And we feel that this in particular is a great project and probably will end up being our most favorite project. And I was an adjunct here for five years in the late 90s and I realized then what an outstanding staff and faculty there is here and how dedicated the instructors were to their students. And as time went on, as we funded some things, we became more aware of mental health issues and people on the autism spectrum and such. And we have a personal history with that too, but we thought it was important to really do something to serve everyone on campus, students, faculty, staff, people from the community. We want this to be the very best positive learning environment that it can be. So we're really honored to do this. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, we're very pleased with the way the project turned out. And as Dave said, we like that it's just not serving one student, but it's serving everyone here on campus, from students to faculty, even the security people have used the space. And we just like, you know, all the people that it's going to serve at the UC Claremont community. And we've been told already that uh, there have been people in here. And we remember from our days, years, decades ago, when we were undergrads at Miami, exam time is stressful. And a lot of you just went through COVID and the mental health issues are real. And we really have emphasized with everyone we work with here that we want everyone to know about it and we want everyone to use it. And I think we'd also like to take the opportunity to thank everyone on campus who designed the space. There were some other companies that donated extra funds for different parts of the project. So it really took a great team to start something that we think started with a spark and grew into a fire. And we're just hoping that this is a great model for other colleges and universities to add a space such as this to their campus. And speaking of other places, we've heard that all of a sudden Clifton is really interested in copying what was done here at Claremont. And Dr. Sauer had talked about it. The feeling is they think this might be the first either in the state and or the country where they totally, you know, created a new space. So we're thrilled and we want everyone to use it. Welcome to the sensory room and meditation space at the University of Cincinnati Claremont, situated in the updated accessibility resources area. These spaces have been a collaborative effort spanning over four years, involving generous community donors and current and former accessibility resources staff. The vision behind these rooms was to provide a haven for individuals to decompress, regain internal control, and refocus amid the fast-paced life at Claremont College and daily stressors. The aim is to offer an inclusive environment catering to both neurodiverse and neurotypical students, addressing fundamental needs that benefit people of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds. Every element in these rooms has been carefully chosen to serve a specific purpose. Upon entering the sensory or meditation rooms, you'll immediately sense the deliberate design aimed at creating a calming and reflective atmosphere. The Sensory Room is the first nationwide renovation of an existing college campus space explicitly designed for sensory reset. The Sensory Room stands out as the first complete renovation of an existing campus space in the United States dedicated to sensory reset. Coordinating the ceiling, floor, walls, lighting, 
and sensory materials works harmoniously to transport individuals into a tranquil, reflective mood, encouraging engagement with the materials. The rooms are equipped with features like a centerpiece interactive touchscreen display, weighted blankets, putty, and fidget toys to provide additional sensory stimulation, aiding in focus and calm. They are open throughout the day and users are requested to swipe and wave upon entry for tracking purposes. While these spaces are available to everyone, they are particularly designed to offer comfort and warmth to those dealing with ADHD and anxiety. All students, staff, and faculty are invited to use these spaces, reflecting the university's commitment to creating an optimal environment for sensory support relaxation, and overall well-being. The university intends to periodically update materials based on feedback and is always open to incorporating new elements that may prove beneficial. So please take the opportunity to come, enjoy, engage, and relax in these purposefully designed spaces.